I was travelling in the United States and I had been reading about the field of brain machine interfaces that was developing in the United States and particularly funded through the US Defence Force. The organisation that was conducting this work is DARPA, the Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is world renowned for developing radical innovative research. And I met with Colonel Jeffrey Ling, who at the time was the leading military neurologist in the US Defence Force. I pitched to him the idea of utilising a brain machine interface system that was built onto an endovascular electrode array, that is a stent electrode array. With a pat of the back and a, and a hearty chuckle, he said, that's a nice idea, we'll give you a million dollars to do that. And I had to go home back to Australia and try and put together a team that could try and put this work together. So with that motivation, I spent a couple of months in the States. I went to laboratories and I came home with this idea and I approached the University of Melbourne and particularly academics Terry O'Brien, David Graydon and Tony Burkett who at the time were working on the bionic eye. And we put together a team and we put together a team that was capable of delivering a, this technology and we started working on it. It took us two years, it took us several million dollars and support from various government organisations including the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia and we built a system which could record brain activity uh, from the brain without having to conduct open brain surgery or a craniotomy.